Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zerg and today we're taking a look at one of the psych weapons and we're going to be taking a look at the Trauma Staff. So, Trauma Staff was a, one of the lesser staffs back on release. It wasn't great. But over the last few patches they've actually um, done some really nice work on it. And uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit about it today. So. This is how I've got mine built. It's a fairly decent roll. Uh, I've gone with infested and unarmored because I'm using this as pretty hardcore sort of uh, horde clear in conjunction with my Demios, which I use mostly for killing like maulers and carapace armors with uh, uncanny strikes on it. So I like my weapons to pair together quite nicely. Um, so for the perks, I've gone with Infested Enemies and Unarmoured for the Horde Clear. And for the Blessings, Rending Shockwave for Brittleness on Maulers, Carapace and Bulwarks. This uh, not so much for my own damage, but this helps out your team. So your Zealots and Yogrins, because that's generally what you're you know doing with this, is you, you're helping your teammates by softening stuff up, staggering and just generally knocking shit over. Uh, the other one I have is Stained Fire. That came on the staff. I kind of like it. I know with with the Blessings, what we'd really want is either Warp Flurry for increased charge rates or Soul Blaze for chucking the Flame Dot on everything. But I've actually found so Stained Fire isn't too bad. It's by no means a meta blessing, so I wouldn't go out of your way to get this. I would always try to get Rending Shockwave, Warp Flurry, or Soul Blaze for a combination of the three. But as this is what was rolled on the weapon in the first place, I went with it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good for finishing stuff off. Like, so the first shot doesn't do much. Second and third just increase damage. So it's pretty good for when you need to just pull down one target that's gotten out of your AoE. But the main point of the staff is obviously the right mouse button, and that'd be this. The entire point of it is to stagger and kill. So as you can see, as you hold down the charge, the circle does get bigger. Increases the damage slightly. And it just knocks everything around. So your zealots and your Ogryn teammates will love you for this because you're stopping them from getting the shit show out of them. Which, uh, yeah, they don't like very much. And you don't even need to do a full charge if you're just trying to get a small group. But for large groups, especially if it's a horde coming at you, you can clear and hold off a horde pretty well in your own with this. Now for the uh, crushers and bulwarks, again, same thing. And you're also adding those six stacks of brittleness onto them. So even if you can't get a teammate to do it, you can finish it off on your own with your melee weapon. Or if you really want to, you can shoot them. But as you can see, it doesn't do a great deal, so I wouldn't bother. Yeah, draw stuff. It's um it got a really bad rep to start off with. And now it's actually becoming one of the main meta weapons, even though I would say at this point, every one of the staves is very usable. I mean, they're all good. It all depends on your preference and playstyle. As you can see, I've used most of them so far. I've still got to level up one of the Void Strikes, but I still haven't found one I actually like enough to push that far. I mean, that is at a 380, but perks on it are pretty shit. Blessings, not great. But if you haven't tried out the Trauma Staff, I highly suggest giving it a go. It is one of the more difficult staffs to get used to. So if you're used to the Surge or the Purgatas, it's not so much just charge and throw. You've got to kind of aim a bit more of it. And it does increase your perils a bit quicker than the other two. But once you've mastered it, I mean, the staff will happily pull you through uh, heresy and damnation. 
so yeah give it a try honestly it, it's it's a very nice staff to play with and it's very funny when uh, you get good at using it so i hope this guide has helped folks if it has you know please leave a comment down see if there's, you know, if there's anything else you want to say about it or anything i've missed out please let me know and thank you very much for watching and if this has helped please like subscribe hit the little bell for notifications it really does help us out and until next time take it easy i'll see you later